So about that time in 2014, about 10 months in, some mentors came into my life. How do you find those mentors in your life? It's just looking for people that have done what you're ultimately trying to do. Um, it doesn't have to be specific, like, you know, my exact industry, my exact product, my exact business, but someone that has done generally um, has gotten to a place, whether it's, you know, financial success, uh, success in their family life, um, you know, just their fulfillment and just the way you see them, you look at them and think, man, I'd love to be like them in this way. And then seeking out um, that person. What I have found is that most successful people and most people that are good at a certain thing are very, very open to sharing and helping others that are trying to do the same thing. The big thing in that though is that you're actually doing something about it. Um, you know, especially if it's someone, like I had this conversation at our last Modern Man Live event about a guy asking you know, this very same question about a mentor. Like when you don't have a lot to give, like like not necessarily even paying, but like, you know, the whole Gary V like add value first, like when, there's, when you don't feel like I have a lot of value to add, the value that you're adding is by doing what they're saying. So when you sit down with them for coffee for an hour and they're telling you about you know, all these different things and they're pouring into you and they're giving you some real examples like, man, I really think you should you know, look at doing this. Well, when you meet with them the next month for coffee and you haven't done it, they're gonna be very frustrated. Versus when you meet with them the next month and you're like, man, you, know, you told me to go after that one thing and man, here's how it's going and this and this and this has happened. That's gonna make them excited and that literally is the value that you're adding to them is for them to feel like, okay, I poured this into them, they got something out of it and actually implemented it and something happened and they're gonna wanna be invested in that process moving forward. Um, a, a real example, when I sat down with Dan Walshman months back, we were just talking about some things going on in my life and he was like, man, I just feel like you need to do some kind of crazy physical challenge. Um, you know, what, like what sounds impossible? And I was like, um, I mean, running a marathon sounds impossible. First I've ever ran a seven miles. He's like, you should run a marathon. I know for a fact he wasn't expecting me to run a marathon. But the next time we met was literally out on this course when I was running my second ultra marathon with him. And so for him to see that in me, that like he told me a specific thing to do, and I not only did it, I went above and beyond and did it twice and even further than I had explained, I know that there was some element or some feeling of pride that he had or enjoyment that he had or fulfillment that he had in saying that like I told this person to do something they actually did it and they're getting something from it so that the next time I meet with him he'll know that man if I tell him to do something if I give him a piece of advice he's actually gonna follow through with it and that could be the only value that you add and that's enough.